This is exactly what Tarot Black Star was telling us concerning the planetary alignment and the black star in our solar system, having and that we're waiting for uh, a new electromagnetic jolt, and it, is, it appears to be starting. Slow slip event detected off the coast of Gisborne, New Zealand. Uh, this is on the watchers, but it's everywhere. Basically, they're. Uh, waiting for it, there be they're warning their people, of course, uh, which would give a huge wave and even a tsunami. Uh, this is posted by TW on the Watchers and uh, GNS Science of New Zealand. Scientists are monitoring a slow slip event. It started at the end of March, just a few days ago, near Gisborne, off the east coast of the North Island of New Zealand. New Zealand, as we know, has two islands, the north and the south, and it's the wet, on the west coast of the North Island, just uh, off the South Island tip. And the slow slip events are linked to an increase in localized earthquake activity. A similar sequence of earthquakes was observed during the March 2010 Gisborne slow slip event. So it's reoccurring now, about nine years later. Slow slip events are quite common in this part of New Zealand. And as we know, it's right on the Pacific Ring of Fire. And the fault uh, goes right in between the two islands, the North and the South Island. Um, and this is exactly where this area is, is where the fault line lies. It's a subduction zone. And it's due to the subducting Pacific plate moving westward under the Australian plate. GNS science geophysicist Laura Wallace said April 5th, slow slip events in this area tend to last around a few weeks. So the one, this one is still in its early days, she said, and you know, a big quake there is expected. They're telling people right now, and they're warning them in effect with all this, that it's going to happen, and this is going to be terrible. They're expecting a massive earthquake there. And uh, the earthquake will last over a minute. Can you imagine a huge quake shaking the house for over a minute? I mean, there's nothing going to be left. Nothing is going to be left. Really. Uh, this bad. And it's also going to give a tsunami. Now, uh, scientists have so far recorded up to 18 inches, uh, 1.18 inches of eastward displacement at GeoNet continuous GPS sites. This is caused by the 4 to 5.9 inches of movement on the Hikurangi plate boundary offshore of Gisborne, Gisborne as you can see from the uh, models below. They have embedded here uh, some videos that you can see. Our scientists, they say, have been anticipating this slow slip event as our slow slip record has shown regular events every one to two years, and much larger events every four to six years. Wallace said this event is on track to be as large as the biggest previous slow slip event we recorded off Gisborne, Gisborne in March of 2010. Because we know that this area, she says, has regular slow slip events. Our scientists have been studying this area for years. Slow slip is like... Uh, Okay, you have uh, something slipping under something else, and that something else is sort of uh, buckling in a little bit, and then it, it, it just flings itself back to where it was. Uh, and that's a slow slip when it comes back, and that's when the earthquake uh, happens, a big earthquake. Now, uh, they said the slow slip events are linked to an increase in localized earthquake activity, which we are seeing off the coast of Mahia Peninsula. Most of these quakes have been too small to feel. Right now we have instruments out in, uh, out, uh, out in on the seafloor of Poverty Bay that are waiting to capture the data from events like this. Our scientists can then study these land movements and changes offshore to better understand the processes as subduction zones and the relationship of slow slip events to earthquakes. Um, GNS this is the, the images are from GNS that we have here. Has recorded dozens of slow slip events since their first detection in 2002 after installing a GPS global positioning system network around New Zealand 
to monitor these land movements. Slow slip events, sometimes called silent earthquakes, are undetectable by both humans and seismograph networks because they move faults over weeks to months instead of within seconds, like the earthquakes that you typically think of. Well, this is months, you know, this is what we've had um, also in uh, Yellowstone. The low frequency earthquakes that take days on end. It's basically one earthquake, low, slow slip uh, earthquake. And the same thing happened in the huge um, subduction zone, the Anatolia Fault in Turkey. There was, that lasted for 50 days. And there was only one geologist that picked up on that, and he was the one that warned them. And that was, of course, that was that should have been picked up by everybody. Well, now they know, because these things have only just recently been picked up. Uh, I guess they didn't have enough monitoring equipment everywhere anyway. So I'll leave a link below for you for this. You can watch the embedded videos here. And um, obviously, they've come out with this because they're trying to warn people they're about to have a huge earthquake. And with that, will go a huge tsunami. That will be about, I don't know, twenty anywhere from 20 to 40 feet. So the minute they, uh, the earthquake is over, they have to try and head to high ground, to the ones that are on, on the coast, obviously. And I'll leave a link below for you for this on the watchers. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.